Welcome to episode number seven of the Frugal Film Project 21, the year-long collab where each month a group of cheap photographers like myself shoot a roll of cheap film through a cheap camera and then post our results on the Frugal Film Project 21 Facebook page. So for each month from January through June, I shot a roll of Fomapan 400 through my Holga and I posted a video for each month here on the channel. I've got links for all those videos in the description down below. For July, it was time to move on to the color phase of the project, so the color film I'll be shooting for the rest of the year is Kodak Ultramax 400. Now the rule for the project is that the camera has to have cost less than $50 well, the camera I chose cost me less than a dollar. The Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim I got at the Valley Thrift in Dayton for 90 cents. I developed this roll of Ultramax with my Sinistro C41 kit and then scanned the images with my Epson V550 using Epson Scan 2 software. Let's see what I got.
So as far as the film goes, well, it's Ultramax. Nothing trendy, nothing fancy, just a good, solid performer. It's versatile, 400-speed, consumer-grade film. I think the more interesting variable here is the camera. And you can learn a lot about this one just from the name. The Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim is ultra wide. It's 22 millimeter lens, and it is slim. It's not much bigger than a deck of cards. The other obvious thing is the vignetting. It is extreme, and not everybody likes that, but I dig it. My first 35 millimeter camera was the Lomo LCA, and it's got plenty of vignetting, so I was already used to that. The Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim is essentially a toy camera. It's all plastic, including the lens, which is why nothing is really super sharp. Uh, focus is pretty soft. And that plastic construction also makes it pretty light, but at the same time, it does make it a little bit fragile too. The general consensus on this camera is you want to probably stick to 12 or 24 exposure rolls because the 36 exposure rolls can put a little too much stress on the winding mechanism and you can snap it if you're not careful. Now, I have run 36 exposure rolls through mine, but I also have another one as a backup in case I break this one. At one point, I actually had four of these little cameras, but I used two of them for giveaways on the channel a while back. If you want to find out more about the Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim, I've got a top five Ultra Wide and Slim tips video linked at the end of this video. And if you want to see high resolution images of some of today's subjects, including Willie the Whale and Molly Stark Park, you'll find those shots and some history behind those locations in a future video featuring Lomacomb Metropolis in the Pentax 6.7. The best way to make sure you don't miss that video and all my future videos is to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications. That'll do it for this episode, so until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film!